going to show you how I make my red velvet cheesecake cake. Now the first thing I do to make this cake is the cheesecake portion which is sandwiched between two layers of red velvet sponge. So the ingredients for the cheesecake portion are 16 ounces of cream cheese. Now just bear in mind that this is just a little bit more than 16 ounces so that I'll have a little bit left over. Two thirds of a cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, two large eggs, a third of a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a third of a cup of a heavy whipping cream. Now the first thing to do is to prepare the tin. So I've got a nine inch tin here and I've already put one layer of paper in it and I've got a little bit of butter here that I'm just greasing the top of the baking paper with. And before I put in the next layer of baking paper, I'm going to put in a couple of strips that I've folded over so I can more easily get this cheesecake out later. It's not going to be a huge problem because once the cheesecake has cooled down in the tin, we're going to actually put it straight into the freezer. So it should come out of the tin quite easily. So once you've got those in, just give them a bit more of a grease as well. And put in the other layer of baking paper that you've cut in a round shape to fit snugly in the bottom of the tin. I think with this recipe, preparation of your tin and that sort of thing is actually half the battle won. You know it's going to work perfectly so long as you can get it out of the tin. So that's my tin prepared and what I'm going to do is just put that to the side while we make our cheesecake. Now the only other thing we need to do with this recipe is get a baking tray and put that on the third shelf of your oven. If you've only got two shelves, put it on the bottom rung. So down towards the bottom of the oven. And we're going to preheat the oven to 160 degrees Celsius, which is roughly 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So the first thing we do is just roughly chop the cream cheese and add that to your bowl. And then using a hand mixer, just beat that until it's nice and creamy. So once you've got the cream cheese to a creamy stage, then it's time to add your pinch of salt and your two thirds of a cup of sugar. And just beat that till it's combined. Next you need to add your two eggs, but just add them one at a time and then beat in between each egg. And as you can see that mixture is starting to get nice and creamy and there's no hard bits of cream cheese in there. So the next thing to do is you need to add a third of a cup of sour cream. This stage you also add a third of a cup of whipping cream and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and now we just mix it together until it's really well combined so once all of your ingredients are blended together then it's time to put it into the cake pan. So just make sure none of the paper's jutting out terribly because you want it to be as neat a circle as possible when you take it out. And very carefully now you're going to add hot water to that tray till it comes about an inch or two and a half centimetres up the side of that cake tin. It 
looks like. It's about an inch. Carefully push that back inside the oven. Close the door. And we're going to cook that for 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, just take the cheesecake out of the oven. It should be firm to touch on top, but still a little bit blubbery. So now we put that on the kitchen bench just to cool down. And once it's cooled down, put it straight into the freezer because we really want to freeze that section while we get on and make the sponge part. So for the red velvet sponge part of this cake, we're going to need to preset the oven to 175 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So grease two tins, nine inch tins the same size as the cheesecake layer, and flour them as well. Now I've gone that extra mile and I've put a little bit of baking paper on the bottom of my tins. So get yourself a large bowl. So into the bowl, just lightly sift two and a half cups of plain flour. And then one and a half cups of white sugar. Then three tablespoons of cocoa. I'm using a dessert spoon so that makes it six of these. Then about a teaspoon of salt. So just give that a bit of a stir around so that the dry ingredients are combined. So into the dry ingredients we're going to add two eggs. We're going to add one and a half cups of vegetable oil. One cup of buttermilk. And next is a quarter of a cup of red food colouring. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. and two teaspoons of white vinegar. Now beat that on a low speed with a hand mixer for about one minute and then on high for another two minutes. So once your cake mixture is totally combined. Get your two cake tins and just evenly divide the mixture into those cake tins. Just try to make a small well in the middle of the cake so that we don't get too much of a dome shape to them. And then just pop them in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. You can test these cakes after that time with a toothpick and if it comes out with some moist crumbs on it then your cake's ready. This is the finished product. Didn't they turn out wonderful? They didn't even rise in the middle. They're just um, a perfect flat sponge. So I won't even have to level these cakes before I assemble the whole cake. So I'm just leaving them there to cool down for a while and then I'll assemble the cake and make the frosting. Ok, 
Okay, for the frosting, what you need is 16 ounces of cream cheese, just roughly chopped, because we're going to beat that up in a minute. Two and a half cups of pure icing sugar, half a cup of butter, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So the first thing I'm going to do is beat the cream cheese. Once the cream cheese has been mixed to a smoother consistency, then it's time to add half a cup of butter. And just blend that through the cream cheese mixture. The next thing to add is a tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is a dessert spoon, so two of these equals one tablespoon. After the vanilla extract has been added in, then it's time to add the icing sugar. Now to assemble the red velvet cheesecake cake, you get the bottom layer and then you get your cheesecake out of the freezer and peel off the backing paper and just gently lift that onto that layer. They should be the exact same size because I made them in the exact same tin. Then you get the third layer and that's your cake. And now you frost it. And once you've finished frosting the cake, just finish it off with some white chocolate shavings. You could use dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Just shavings and twirls on top just to finish the cake lovely. Just to finish the cake off. And there you have it. Beautiful homemade red velvet cheesecake cake. It's very highly recommended that you put this cake back into the fridge once you've done the frosting as it's got the cheesecake layer and it will need to stay set. And the heat that we're having in Australia at the moment is equivalent to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit or more so we're having some pretty horrible weather and this cake is going back in the fridge.